turn the camera around. Hey ho everyone. I know it's uh, late in the US. It's a good time here in Australia though. We're just at Carnarvon. I'll wait to see if anyone drops in. I'm hoping today, I'm hoping today we'll get a little better internet and I'll be able to get um, better sound. I'm trying another microphone because the other day people said it was a little bit sketchy. I love this old, um... hey Zachary, how are you? This old carriage here, there's a railway comes out of Carnarvon, um, which is where we are at the moment, that, that runs right out on the jetty. Unfortunately, it's closed. I'm just gonna, it's pretty dry today. How are you all? The time, um, Zach, is 2.21 in the afternoon, so it's pretty, pretty warm. Got this lovely old carriage, but this railway just here, uh, look at this old carriage. And this railway runs right away out on the pier on the jetty here. Um, I'll walk down there in a second and show you, hopefully, if the internet stays connected. And uh, it's a very pretty old railway. Some of you that know more about railways than I do will be able to set what gauge that is. Um, hey, Kevin. Right over the other side. I'll be over in Brisbane uh, <laughs> some months from now, I guess. It's beautiful. What's the weather like in Brisbane, Kevin? turn the camera around it's lovely and warm we're right out on the on the um, greetings from Canada we're right out on the Carnarvon the town is is in here there's this lovely old 24 and sunny I think we're about the same mate no camping there's an old dozer there look rusty old bulldozer there's an old hand plow real old plow used to have something like that some years back kevin supported you what does that mean <laughs> this old tractor This is an old uh, Fordson. About that. It's just really nice to be able to go up into the water tower, but it's closed. Oh, well, everything, everything's closed. And then it's closed for restoration. There's a little museum here, but it's um, it's closed. I like this old stuff, though. I love this old farm machinery. Cheers, Zach Zachary. Oh, you, you, you subbed to him, did you? There's Michelle. Hello. <laughs> Let's walk over. So you have HMS Sydney somewhere out in the uh, Indian Ocean here. Back in, oh, I can't remember, 1941, I think it was. They had a bit of a skirmish with a German um, boat and HMS Sydney two sunk losing i think 600 souls so that was quite sad and that's out here in the ocean 340 odd german souls survived yeah there was a the german um the german boat actually survived uh well it's still i think it sank but they came aboard i'll take you inside if i'm allowed and just show you the old metal hull lifeboat that was, um, you just turn that round. So there's a, what's the sound like? A little better? Hey, hit that thumbs up, there's only one. Give me, give me five of them. So I'm just coming in here. Hey Sarah. Turn the camera around and you can see 
This is the old lifeboat. This one here is all riveted steel. You can see inside. Good old Kevin. You can see it's all rotten, the, the base of it is all rotten out. But this boat was a lifeboat from the German um, uh, HMS, no, HKS, HSK Cormoran. So you can have a little read about it if you, if you want to see. So 390 of the 400 crew, 319 from the German boat, but unfortunately from HMA, HMAS uh, Sydney, all of the uh, souls were lost. So uh, there's a memorial in the town to them. It's all good. So yeah, outside. Oh, guys setting up for a disco, bit of a party. So we did a little live the other day. See this, uh, this is where the trains used to run out. It's a one mile jetty. And unfortunately now they've closed it up. It's uh, in disrepair. I thought while we had a good connection, I'd just say hello and catch up with everybody. We probably should have gone into Carnarvon itself, Michelle. It's dry. So we stopped last night in a little uh, over, over now, uh, overland camp. It was pretty, pretty basic. Does it sound good today? I'll take you back through. We're in Carnarvon, Kevin. Got music, the guy's starting a disco in there, so that wasn't happening a few moments ago. So we'll probably get like copyright strikes. We're in Carnarvon, uh, pretty much as west as you can go in Australia, apart from where we were last night, the night before, in Shark Bay. Um, we're heading on up to Coral Bay. Uh, we're looking to find a place. This is a, quite a pretty little town, unfortunately, to get into the town, it's another couple of kilometers down. I think if I drive there now, I might lose you all. And when we, st when we started this, the museum was open. And then just as we s fired up the, uh, the internet, the guys shut it down and drove off. <laughs> this is all good. I'll tell you what I might do. Take you over to, um, to this part. It's probably, you see, there's the, there's the museum. That was open just a moment ago. We were going to wander in there. How are you all? Tell me what you guys are up to. Oh, that's the little lighthouse. I was looking for the lighthouse. It's a bit small. It is a small lighthouse, isn't it? <laughs> is that it? That lighthouse is only about sort of six foot tall. <laughs> there used to be ships berthing on the jetty. That's where the jetty's there. About 100 ships a year and they get their water from the water tank, which used to be a water tank. Then it, so that would have been the old water tank. And then you could use it as a, to get a 360 degree view, but now it's closed because of disrepair. Now, Carnarvon is a great fruit growing region. Actually, I think 70% of the uh, produce for Western Australia is grown around here. So as we came in, there's lots of growing um, areas. Um, and I think we just missed it yesterday. They had a big farmer's market where all the produce come, uh, the local producers come in and sell their stuff. Let's have a little look in here. Just turn that round so you can see what I'm looking at. 
There you go, big old Austin truck there. Anything interesting? All right, what are you looking at? Let me tell you. That looks like a, some sort of crop, doesn't it, of some sort? What do you reckon? It's unusual, the head though, I'm not sure how that, I mean, I would say it was a crocodile, but. Uh, you didn't get crocodiles down here, would you? It's up could be, it could be uh, older than that. Maybe it's a sort of dinosaur piece. What do you think? Oh, yeah, it could be. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a dinosaur of some sort. And this, what's there's this? No like a, no information? No, so, there's no label there. Oh, should we put our own labels on there? Just, you know, <laughs> bluff people. Yeah, As this it. is a, this is a, a pygmy whale shark, circa 1648. Oh. Yeah. Discovered by, you know, just some put you out some bloke. Yeah. <laughs> some nice old equipment, there's an old jack there. Yeah, yeah. sort of stuff I used to have myself at one time. Yeah. Oh, Chris, yeah, Ed, Ed, I probably won't see Ed again. These lovely old farm, bits of farm equipment. If any of you want to know, if any of you know your farm equipment, I know some stuff. Look at the vices and clamps on there. So there's, there is no labels on this. There's sort of bone fragments. Feel of the ocean. So a little bit of natural sponge, a little bit of cuttlefish, some shells and rocks. This looks like a, 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 a crocodile, um, but it doesn't, you know, the head is the wrong shape, I think, for a, it's got more like an alligator head to it, but there's no labeling on it, which is a shame. And this is a big, this is a big skull. I mean, this is huge. And that, that there, that harpoon that's laying on the ground there, um, as I don't know if you saw when I was on the front there, there was an old harpoon on the front. I don't know. It's a shame this place isn't labelled up a little bit, bit better. Um, oh, an old fridge. An old cooling fridge. I'll just zoom in on that so you can have a read, pause it if you want to. It's a nice old fridge. Timber frame. All timber. I'm guessing, is it lead lined? Would it have been lead lined at one time? Tin or steel? Some leather panniers. Oh, this is all uh, um, for horses and plows. There's a couple of uh, Oil tanks or, I'm not sure. <laughs> like the couple that were just in here said, you could put your own, you know, you could make your own things up. There's no labeling on there. North Dakota, Laurie. Beautiful. What time is it in North Dakota? That must be late. Let me have a quick look, see if uh... So Keb's got himself a fryer. So have fun with that, mate. That's an old shearing hall. And the tracks of the train, they would have come through that um, shearing shed and out to the, um, the jetty out there. One thirty-five a.m. Good day, guys. What do you reckon? 
No, we can't go up in that one. That's really quick. Go up. Yeah. You go up first. You jump down, I'll catch you. We're just talking about the helicopter ride. Oh, yeah. Did you go up? Oh, we're going to go up. Yeah, we just got to go back and get one more. Only three. There's 55 a person for three of you. Uh, okay. About 15, 20 minutes all the way around. Kind of cool. So. Hey, Casey. Cheers from WA. So I'm, I just wanted to test the connection out. Well, I didn't want to test. I wanted to say hello to everyone, really, because we haven't got enough food recipes going up at the moment. Michelle and I, we thought we'd say hello from sunny Western Australia. I'm just reading about the jetty. Apparently, it was, Carnarvon was the first port to transport live sh sheep right. onto ships in okay. the world, apparently, according to that little plan around the corner there. From this jetty? From this jetty. And they used to race the sheep up and then they'd go down to Fremantle and... and okay, you're getting that. So this was the the first live yeah. sheep... just around here. Let's go to get it right. It's just over here on the wall. Okay. <laughs> so this, they would have... That's why this, this uh, jetty has the rail carriage going out. At one time, they would have brought the sheep in. There's a lot of sheep country back here. Thousands and thousands of, oh, probably millions of acres of land. Uh, we actually stopped near a, a sheep farm last night. Um, we heard the sheep go by at sort of three in the morning, um, but they were gone by the time we woke up. It was pitch black last night. And uh, there's a lot of sheep farming country. So they would have brought them up into here, I'm guessing into this big old shed, and uh, you know, treated any of them that needed treating. So what's it saying? History developed in Carnarvon in the late 1800s, the local population pressured the government of the day to develop a port for the town. By 1897, the jetty had been built and wool and livestock produced in the region began to be exported to Fremantle and essential goods. It's the one mile jetty once boasted a livestock race, the length of the jetty. The the sheep were driven along the race from holding yards that were located just north of the water tower that still stands at the Heritage Precinct. Nice. So there's a little bit of history. And it stopped in 1966. Can you clip that back on, Swill? No, you've got to hold it. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Sarah says hi. Hi. Casey said hi from Tennessee. Laurie's in from North Dakota. Was it late there? It's late. Uh, Laurie's up at uh, the middle of the night. I think it's 1.35. Oh, we need to get on and get in the morning, don't we? We'll try and do an earlier morning so we can, we can um, mix up. Does that blow, by the way? Is that blowing now? Because uh, yesterday we had a, a lot of uh, wind blowing. So hit that thumbs up, by the way. I don't know why. Normally I have someone in doing that for me. No, I don't. Normally somebody just does it by, by uh, default. See if there's anything else. Do you want me to go and look at anything else? I don't think we can get in this carriage. You can try, Michelle. Why not? It's a nice old carriage though, isn't it? Nice carriage. We were saying we could live in something yeah. like this. I'd, I'd be happy in something like this. Convert this into a, into a nice little homestead. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, wouldn't it? You know, proper, do it, do, it, do it well. It's got the steps. Got the steps, got a little porch, maybe extension on the, on the front there. How many of you would, would live on one of those? You could put a little, um, obviously it wouldn't be rolling. <laughs> you could put a little porch on the front. That would be nice. On that side, you get sea view. Yeah, I could live here. This is this is beautiful. You got the um, Indian Ocean out here. When the sun went down last night, yeah, I would as well, Kevin. I would. When the sun went down, it was golden because, of course, where you, is it, Kevin? Was it Kevin said he's on the other side? Yeah. You're in um, Brisbane. Brisbane, Kevin, aren't you? So you get the sun rises. We get the sun set over the uh, Indian Ocean here. Beautiful last night. It just went crimson color. The whole of the of this ocean, I'll just show you out here. Did you say we're on Babbage Island? Oh, we're on Babbage Island. Yes, sorry about that. We're not actually in Carnarvon. We're about uh, a couple of kilometers off of the coast. There's an island called um, Babbage Island. But here, uh, this is the Indian Ocean, 
and the whole of that sky out there last night was just beautiful like shades and it stayed for ages it was just gorgeous wasn't it, it was sort amazing. of color color of your top mm -hmm. out to sort of golden oranges and reds and it just hung there and I, I did try to take a photo with the phone but it just came out black as you can imagine uh, I need to get a better camera to do that Making trailways through here, walkways. Yeah. But there's a helicopter. There is a helicopter. They do helicopter tours. We're not going to do that today. We've got a, a lot of driving ahead of us. We're going up to Coral Bay. We've got to get some provisions in the in the town. There's a nice lot of shopping here. This is a nice town actually. There's 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 good um, servos as we call them service stations there's uh, a lot of decent supermarkets here and it's probably the last chance that we're going to get uh, before we drive north to do any proper shopping so we've got to get lots of sort of dry goods and canned goods and things because i think this is possibly the last Woolworths sort of they have till froom so we've got to make sure we've got enough water we got to make sure we got enough food. Last night we did some pasta. We had some beautiful pasta with a little bit of chicken soup that we mixed it all together. That was good. Hey, Dwayne, how are you? Dwayne's in. Morris, did I miss someone there? I've, I've worked it out. The lighthouse has fallen off of the top. It's the bit that comes off the top of there. It's not a little lighthouse. Do you reckon? <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute, what Michelle's on about. That's the first glimpse of the Indian Ocean you've seen. It's very beautiful. It's quite a wind coming off. It's quite drying. I'm hoping, uh, Dwayne, is the sound better? I'm trying a different microphone. It's still windy out here. You can imagine we're right out on the spit, but I'm hoping this little microphone is going to give us better sound. Um, the other day when we were in the wildflower area, Michelle spotted something. Okay. Um, it was really, I mean, we were lucky, to be honest, we were lucky to get any internet connection at all because it was, it was hundreds and hundreds of kilometers from, hey Ruby. Oh look, you can listen back. There's not a lot of history. It's just there a little bit about HMS Sydney, uh, one of our, um, during uh, World War II, they lost a lot of lives. So it's not, not, not nice history, unfortunately. Um, 600 and something souls were lost. Oh, well, if the sound's good, I'll use this microphone next time then, because uh, I had, although where we were, where we were yesterday, the internet, to be honest, we were lucky to get internet at all where the wildflowers were, because we were <sighs> two or three hours from anything, really. And I just thought, I thought, oh, I've got a bit of a connection. I'll, I'll show you how pretty the wildflowers are. I reckon we can. Oh, these, these guys have all got ice cream. Gelato? Italiano? None of, your, none of your normal nonsense. You've got nuts in yours. A bit of disco going over there, haven't they? <laughs> oh, Steve's in from Steve's Cooking as well. Stevie boy. So we're going on the Carnarvon Heritage Precinct Mangrove Boardwalk. So, follow the path down around the small gazebo on the hill. I'm in desperate need of a new a new phone. <laughs> this takes so long to turn around. So the Carnarvon Heritage Precinct Mangrove Boardwalk. It's a scorcher today, Steve. We're just we're just um, touring up. We thought that was. I thought. Whoops. Let me turn that round. I thought that was the. Let me see if I can zoom. I can. I thought that was the whole lighthouse, but we think it's just dropped off of the top there. <laughs> that makes more sense, it's on the hill. Yeah. Stevie, we are, we just, um, we're just driving up from Shark Bay, where the fishing was great. And uh, there's an old lifeboat here as well, look. So we're just driving up from Shark Bay to uh, Coral Bay. And we're hoping we're going to stop over somewhere near Coral Bay tonight. Uh, do a little bit of cooking. Um, 
I think tonight we're gonna to have a pasta again, some sort of pasta. Simple, I've got a lovely little uh, belly can. I will try and film some of this at some point. Yeah, I could, uh, the drone I could. I wonder if we'll keep the internet connection. Look, if it gets dodgy, tell me to turn back. I'm walking down to this uh, um, ocean front here. We had the drone up yesterday, but Shark Bay was really windy and I was, I was in, in um, I was every chance of, of it being blown off into the sea. It was so windy and cold. Now considering, mind you, it is midwinter. Mid 26 degrees. 26 degrees midwinter. Yeah. Cold last night though. I know some of you are having hot, hot weather, but you're in the summer. We are in the middle of winter, 26 degrees, but last night got cold. We, we stopped on a little, um, like a service station. It was really just a lay-by today. And we, we stopped and, and popped up our little tent. Everything was cool. We had a chat with all the locals, um, cooked a bit of dinner, had, a, had another chat. There was a little guy, that, there was a guy there playing a, a ukulele. And uh, then by about seven o'clock, we were in bed. And then by, by about four o'clock this morning, I woke up, oh, it was cold. We would have got up because we were awake, but it was too dark. It was pitch black because there was no light. There was no, um, uh, what do you say, certain light pollution. So it was pitch black. Couldn't see a thing. Couldn't, you know, when you open your eyes and you see nothing. It's, I couldn't see the, the, the opening of the tent. I couldn't see Michelle. Couldn't see anything at all. So you can't get up. So you had to sort of lay there for about four hours till the sun got and, and warmed us up a little bit. So that's what we're up to. Oh, look. I don't know how far it goes. Yeah, we did, Ruby. She had me to keep her warm. I'm the warm one. Wow, so this is a river. And in full flood, it'd be more than a kilometer wide. The sky was, uh, Kevin, was that? Yeah, the sky was amazing. When I, when I got up in the dark, I just had a look outside. The stars, I don't know how we would be able to reproduce that. Probably with the GoPro set right, I could probably film it. But there was no light pollution, so it was, it was pitch, pitch black. You couldn't see. I was parked just outside the tent. Couldn't see the car. It was that dark, but the, the night sky was gorgeous. So that out there, let me just turn that around again. Beyond these groves, that is the Indian Ocean. You can probably see it a little bit over there. And later on, that sun is gonna set over there in that corner. And we had this crimson sky, it was so, so pretty. So that's what we've been up to. That's what we've been up to. We're going to, um, I say we're going to get some provisions here in the in uh, Carnarvon. Uh, it's Sunday. I don't know if it's the same day all over the world, but it's Sunday here. Is it Sunday in uh, the US or is it? Well, it's probably Saturday night, Sunday. Okay. okay. The little yellow Jeep is out there. I can hear. There's a, a little bike out there. Oh, somebody's got a, a bike out there. Got come. up to 92 here in East Tennessee. That's nice, 92 is nice. <laughs> Sunday morning, Ruby says. So how long would it take you to, you to get to the coast? Which coast, our coast? not 10 minutes. Shall, I, shall we walk along the boardwalks? We're not really prepped for it, are we? Well, the boardwalk's okay. Let's got see. Again. Got our walking shoes on. I haven't. You haven't. Have oh, you got your flip-flops on again? <laughs> Michelle's in her thongs. Flip-flops. It's easy for getting in and out of the car. Sarah's India. So let's see if the internet will hold us up along this boardwalk, see if we can see anything pretty down here. 
So, what have we got here, Michelle? The boardwalk in this trail has been constructed using 100% recycled wood plastic composite. Material for the first 35 meters of the boardwalk. Wood plastic composite? Yeah. Okay, so it is like a, it is like a sort of, not an MDF. No. Getting choppy, is it getting choppy? Are we losing connection? Probably, we shouldn't go. Let me just see, no, the connection's all right. Okay, I'll try a little bit longer. Look, we've got the swamps down here. So this is a river in the winter. Oh, we are the winter. So we're probably gonna, we probably get a lot of mosquitoes in this area. I've got nothing on to keep them off. Steve, this hat is priceless to you, mate. <laughs> when you say a okay, case so it's getting choppy, is it uh, the, the connection's getting choppy? Because we're a long way from anywhere now. I mean, there's, I don't know how, how, how we're getting a connection at all, to be honest. Just slightly, yes. Well, tell me if it gets worse, because we're getting... You can see where we were before. I mean, I, could, I had a choice. Either I, I was filming in Carnarvon in the town and show you around the town, but it, it wasn't that busy. And um, I thought this was prettier out here. Oh, is that the end? I don't think it goes far. It doesn't go far anyway. The, the, end. <laughs> the guy, guy's setting up the disco over there. I'll probably stop before I go back because I think he's got... Uh, what has he got to do? Live music. Live music. I thought this was going to go all. I thought this was going to go all the way out to the coast. That's as far as they've gone. And it's just stops here. There you go. The end. Plan. Yeah, they've obviously got plans to build it right out a lot further. So the coast that, that is by the Indian Ocean, well, it's only about, oh, it's only about uh, 300 yards from us, Duane. So, but I can't get to it because we've just come, the, the, the boardwalks have come to an end and I can't walk across the, the, the mangroves. They're pretty boggy, you can see. Um, you're coming over, are you, Steve? Right, well, I'm in Carnarvon at the moment. If you can get here by tomorrow uh, tomorrow night, I'll pick you up. Be good to have you here, man. Hey, Amy, Amy's in. Hello, Amy. Woo, welcome. So uh, it's nice, it's gorgeous today. Uh, down at Shark Bay, you could actually see um, the dolphins, but we, they weren't there when we were there. So I'm hoping we'll see some dolphins and certainly we're gonna see some beautiful whales as we go up the coast here. So um, if I don't get a good enough connection to do live, I'll certainly film some of it and put it up when I get a good enough connection. Um, to share it with you, but there's uh, there's apparently there's orcas. Um, we've definitely got uh, a good um, spot up the road for seeing dolphins, but it's hit and miss whether or not you'll see them, I guess. And the rays, the manta rays. The beautiful manta rays. It is nice today, Dwayne. Are we still, what date are we now? So we're still winter, Duane, can you imagine? And that's why we're going up now, because at this side of the coast, going come up. the summertime, or oh, we're gonna see the helicopter going up, are we? Mm -hmm. Come over here, we'll see the helicopter yeah, launch. <laughs> so there's, there were three guys gonna take a helicopter tour, and he's just started up, I'll turn around, See if I can zoom in, see if you can see the blades. I can see them spinning there. Captain, 
Oh, mosquitoes everywhere. I've got nothing on. I will see it. Yeah. We'll see it take off. We'll be up there. So that's why we're going up north. We're going to go up into the Kakadu National Park. We've got a lot of amazing scenery to see in northern um, Australia. So hopefully we'll... I think last time when we travelled, the first time we set off from Melbourne three years ago, we did a bit more of this sort of travelling videos, but it really hits the views on the channel. But I, I don't really care now. I think we just do it anyway. And, uh, you know, if it hits if it hits the channel, as long as some of you enjoy seeing, seeing around, we'll just do it. And um, um, we will try to get more food into the, the videos though this time. Uh, we're, gonna some bush cooking. we're gonna do some bush we'll cooking. That. We've done some bush cooking already. Yeah. Can I get a swig of that water? Oh, wow, it's dry today. Are you drinking enough? Yeah, I'm sharing the water. Oh, we've been going a long time. Amy, we are in Western Australia, Carnarvon. It's uh, a little bit above Shark Bay. We're about as west as you can get in Australia on the coast of the Indian Ocean. And uh, we, this is the last sizable town that we'll hit before, we're, we're probably about a couple of thousand kilometers north of Perth now, I guess. Do you think so? So this is the last sizable town, so we're stocking up on all sorts. We're going to get some chips. I mean, not, not, not Steve's chips. I'm talking about crisps. Some snackaroonies, because we're eating so little. I mean, the weight should be absolutely falling off me. I doubt it is. Um, yesterday we had, a, we had some porridge oats. Oh, I can hear him getting up some speed. So you're going to see him going to see him go there he goes so if there's three of you it's 55 dollars a person yes yeah, 165 dollars to take that up and you need three of you Which is good, I mean, that's not a bad price, but if there were three of you, you can split the cost. It's only two of us. You <laughs> <laughs> have to find a, a sole person. <laughs> it is just uh, bush cooking, yes, it's just like campfire cooking. Um, the other day we did uh, uh, like a bush bolognese. I had um, lamb, uh, minced lamb, uh, and a big sort of like a Dutch skillet, um, Dutch, Dutch oven you just cook it all up and then I've got some nice little uh, Aussie billy cans as well so we can cook rice and and what have you and damper uh, we're practicing some damper I want to share a little uh, uh, some, we've made some pretty good damper so I want to share some damper ideas damper is like Australian bush bread uh, it's very rudimentary basic <laughs> cooking but it can be delicious if you add um, some coconut milk in there and uh, maybe some fruit even, so you end up like a raisin bread. It's a little bit like a soda bread, a little little more worked, and it's done on the, the bushfire, so it's delicious, you know? Yeah, we come, we'll come through Brizzy. I used to live in Sunshine Coast. Uh, got a data alert. I used to live in the Sunshine Coast, Kevin. So I'm going to be visiting some friends up that way, but it'd be quite a while before we get get over that side. Um, maybe a month or two, um, month and a half, maybe. I don't don't know. It could be earlier. We've got no real plans. I've got a, a couple of friends in in Queensland that I want to swing by and say hello to. We used to live up on the Sunshine Coast, so we've got we've got a lot of people we know in that area. Steve's quitting YouTube. You're quitting YouTube? About time, Steve. Yeah. You're taking up the, the ballerina. You're gonna get yourself a tutu and start dancing? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean you're quitting YouTube? It's your favorite hobby. 
Oh wow, so Kevin's expecting a little girl. Oh nice. That's nice. Which suburb are you in? What part of uh, Queensland are you in, Kevin? Well, oh, yeah, it suddenly, you walk out into the, did you go out there? And it just suddenly stopped. I thought we were going right out to the ocean. And then, um, so we're just live streaming to a few people. Can you say hello? Oh. Hello. I think Rio Tinder ran out of money. Yeah, I think they've, they've just stopped there. I think they plan to go all the way out, do you think? Right. Yeah. Redlands he's in. Oh, Redlands I know. Guy over in Queensland telling me he's having a little girl. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Hi Karen. We are going to probably wrap up because it's, it's, let's go and sit down over here a moment. Find a little quiet spot that's not too, it's not, I'm going to sit on the shade side, Michelle. Oh. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap up. I am getting really dry, and we've got a lot of driving to do. Thank you, sweetheart. All right. Anyone watching this after the live stream, comment away. We'll read them all as we're driving along, as we can pick them up. Uh, thanks, Ruby. We're having a very, we'll, we'll be, and I'm really looking uh, forward, which is the first of the big national parks we're going into? Kirangini. Kirangini, yeah, Kirangini. Kirangini, back to the Kimberleys. And then we're going up to the Kimberleys. I've always wanted to go up to the Kimberleys. It's gonna be beautiful and stunning. If we can get live reception up there, I'll do something like this from, from in the Kimberleys as well. Otherwise we'll do some trails and do vlog, vlog, vlog through the trails. Yeah. And put that I'm going to try and do as many of these as I can and just, you know, bombard you with these, with these sort of live chit chat. So um, we'll see. Anyway, love to you all. From Michelle and I, way, way out, oh, Western Australia. Back. Is that it? That was quick. Is he coming back already? I hope not. <laughs> wow. We'll see. Let's see if he's going to land. I think if that's... That, if that's it, it okay. if that's him coming back that's not a lot of flying for 160 bucks Let's see what happens. hang on guys wait before we go yeah, hey morris see. i think i think that little helicopter's coming back in no he's he's not coming back he's just uh, he's just coming around all right love to you all take care be good and we will see you in a day or so whenever we get chance Laters, oops.